Hello, everybody. <laughs> I, I, I think I was meant to be a game show host or something like that. It's like that <laughs> shot in the new, in the Stranger Things where Eddie is like, under the, and does that thing. I'm always like, I'm going to be that guy someday. You're already that guy. I got news for you. I got news for you, buddy. You're that you guy. You are that guy. That guy. It's optional. Though. It's optional. Um, welcome back, everyone, to the bourbon study after that grand entrance. The grand and curious entrance. Um, so it's interesting today that we, so we've sort of focused back on classic drinks that we haven't covered yet. Now we've covered like old fashioned Manhattan whiskey sour, mm. but of course there's all the variations of that. And we've talked a lot about variations on old fashions and even a little bit on Manhattans, but we haven't talked about variations much on sours. Mm -hmm. uh, sours would be classified as anything that were whiskey, a simple syrup, and a citrus. So typically a, re a traditional whiskey sour is lemon. Syrup, bourbon. Lemon syrup, bourbon, and uh, egg white. Yeah. Or foam of your choice. But uh, today we're doing what? Well, I was in Texas visiting my friend in Austin recently, Austin, lovely city, uh, and we went to a uh, cocktail bar, I believe it was called Drinkwell, um, and they had some really interesting drinks in there, but then they had a section that had classics where they had like old fashioned was listed, and yep. like you said, all the things you, uh, you said were listed, but there was one called Ward 8 on there. So I sent you the snap the picture and I was like, oh, I don't think we've made this drink we yet. We haven't, and we did a little bit of digging and it turns out it's from our Classic hometown favorite, Boston, Boston. Massachusetts. Boston. And so, it all yeah. Comes full I time. know, I was going to say, what are the chances? Uh, yeah, this drink was created in 1898, 100 years before I graduated from high school. Uh, 100, 105 <laughs> years before I graduated high school. <laughs> Um, and the origins of the drink are a little muddled. Some people say it was related to election districting. Some people say it was from the Quincy House. Um, but the thing everybody can agree on is that the word Ward 8, like the drink name, was patented for use uh, only in Boston, Massachusetts. So technically oh. in Austin, they shouldn't be used in Ward 8. But I think in 1898, they probably let the patent expire. So. Oh, that is interesting. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, so they actually issued like one of those old timey notices that's like pasted up on the yeah. bricks of a building that says like, to all liquor distributors, Ward 8 is the sole huh. property of the Santa Clara or whatever. What a time to be alive. Company. Good Lord, you could just be like, that's mine now. It's yeah. mine now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, That's I don't think gold. I don't think they kept up on the the permitting and we the got word, pa, <laughs> pa. We got word in <laughs> California. They're making the same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Back when I was just a gal. <laughs> well, it's a really a really simple drink to make, which would be it, it, a little literally bit of a change of pace from what we've been doing Almost no lately. ingredients. Yeah, it's yeah. just whiskey. Yeah. It makes you feel better. It makes you feel better. Um, citrus now the ward eight differs from a traditional sour in that it cuts half and half so instead of doing one ounce of lemon you do a half ounce of lemon half ounce of orange mm. they should both be fresh squeezed yeah we typically don't use bottled lemon juice so a lot of sugar in the yeah and it's the, just you don't guy. get the nice brightness yeah um and then in lieu of a simple syrup it calls for grenadine okay that's it. Let's That's do all it. she wrote. Let's put, so, okay. of course, we have to start with the traditional amount. Two ounces of the bourbon. It's very ritualistic at this point. Is that, is that, that what the original recipe called for? Two ounces. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. We're in line with the original. Yeah, the then. original calls for two ounces of whiskey. Of the, of the whiskey. And then a the half bourbon. ounce each, half ounce each of the lemon. Of the lemon. Oh, she is working for that. Yeah. 1898, Jill would be proud <laughs> and unable to vote. Or well, I mean, what's different her... from 2022 yeah. <laughs> at this point? <laughs> well, we're basically playing by the same rules now. So there we go. That's a, how much of that orange is going in there? Half ounce. And how much blood from your... <laughs> And the sweat. And the sweat, the blood, sweat, and the tears. Okay, so all Just together, you want one ounce of the juice, half ounce of the lemon, half ounce of your orange. Pour those in. And then a quarter ounce of grenadine. Grenadine. So it's like two tablespoons. 
then we shake. <laughs> All right, of course, because it's 1898, we are gonna use a sassy coupe. Yes, it, it is a very... Can we get into that, that club? Not without coupes. Not without coupes. Not without coupes. You little clip your coupons. My mom used to have quite the coupon book mother, that was never organized. I don't think she's bought expired. anything outright from Kohl's in the last 20 years. I think at this point, they're just paying her to keep coming back. <laughs> Wait, Kathy! Yeah. Kathy, we got more Kohl's cash yeah. for you. Hope you got that Kohl's Hope cash. Hope you got that Kohl's Use cash. Use one, get $375 or whatever. And then garnish with an orange garnish slice. Garnish with an orange slice. And it's just very nice. Looks like a sunset on Tatooine. <laughs> I was like, I can't Wow. Remember. Wow. <laughs> It's not quite as tart as I expected. Well, to, and I which think is that nice. that's the the benefit of the grenadine in this recipe. I think that um, if we were to use a full, like a simple syrup, it would be a little too. I was going to try it. Little bit. sugary. I, th I actually think that this, the combination of the citrus cuts down. If you're not like a fan of a whiskey sour, because some people are like, oh, that reminds me of college, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> it was the only thing you know how to order when it's you first start drinking. It's the only Midori salad, yeah, Midori. which is even worse. But um, I think that it's kind of like the next step up from that. If you were to say, well, whiskey sour is a little bit like college Wednesday night <laughs> well drinks situation. This is the elevation of this that. This is the elevation of that. Thank you to Boston, Massachusetts, 1898. Thank you, Boston. Or maybe Quincy, which is south of Boston. Interesting that... Well, I don't know. I was going to say, it's it's always funny to me when these places like New York and Boston and stuff have uh, come up with some of these like signature drinks that we've made over the year, over the years, over the and time we've been doing this. And they argue over them, like who had it first. Well, then also it's kind of crazy because it's like they didn't make the alcohol that went into it. No. So it's kind of like, yeah. it's interesting how it kind of, it's all... Well, that's like how bourbon came to be in the first place when it was like, we're just shipping cognac down and bourbon street in Louisiana. Yeah. We're going to call it that. It's got, it's just, <laughs> it it's, aged in the barrels on the trip down the Mississippi. It's got an interesting, rich history. Yes. I think this one's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Close, mm, women. Yes. To you, Boston. And to you, everybody who watched this video, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to help keep us in our drinking habits and the lights on and the in the Bourbon Study studio here, uh, patreon.com slash the bourbon study. We've been doing a lot of fun content on there, some chats and, and I try and post the ingredients. I've been pretty good about it. The ingredients for the drinks ahead of time. This one, if I don't post it, shame on me. Shame, shame on you. On and shame me. on everyone watching for not being able to just be like, oh, that's I have two that ingredients. Stuff. Yeah. Um, I feel like these these glasses make me feel very Leonardo DiCaprio. The and, great oh, and like, when he's oh, like, yeah. My boy, oh, sport. What do you say? Yeah. Old sport. Old, Old sport. sport, yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> to you, Leo. To you and the Gilded Age. And, the, and that <laughs> green light. Cheers. So, we'll see you later, everybody. <laughs> 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 Muffy.